It's here. It's here. You go. No, no, I'll go. Rubber balls, 50 caliber. Yep, let's go have some fun. Good day, folks. Welcome back to my channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I just bought these safety glasses today, so let me put them on before I forget. Today, we'll be talking about these two 50 caliber projectiles the Home Wreckers versus the Umarex T4E rubber balls. Now, if you want to know the conclusion right away, I suggest you skip to the end of the video because you'll want to know what the conclusion is as unfortunately, I do not recommend these at all. Okay, the first thing you need to know about these home wrecker projectiles is that they are mighty hard to stick into this clip. But if you do go read the description that comes with these projectiles, it will tell you that you need to actually modify this. So the modification they say that needs to be done is, and I read, is removing the undersized holding ribs, which I guess are these lines there, and the shoulder. So it's that line that kind of goes around there. So remove all those lines in order for the projectiles to fit. And to do that, I went to Home Depot and got me one of these for $7, which should do the trick. However, I am first going to try uh, these that I just kind of forced in, sometimes using my teeth, not recommended, and see if they work and how they work. Should that not work, then we'll go with the modification. All right, so we'll start with a chrono test of both projectiles, but since chrono tests are so boring, I thought that at the other end, I would put some gelatin to at least make it a bit splattery. Today's main target is going to be this hollow plastic mannequin. Um, what I want to do is I want to fill it up right here in the chest area where I aim to shoot just in case the projectiles do go through. I want to see you know how deep they go if they go even across the flower bag as well. So just to give us a better sense of the kind of damage we can expect. And of course, a hard spaghetti squash for the head. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Arturo, the intruder. All right, guys, Arturo is ready. Uh, I'll be shooting approximately from 15 feet uh, away. We'll be shooting the rubber balls first and then the home wrecker projectiles.
All right, before we go full autopsy, it's a quick glance on what the rubber balls did. Let's see, kind of broke it there. It went in here. We'll have a look later. So we have one, two holes, and three in the face. All right, let's see what those big bad metal boys are going to do now. All right, so 12 projectiles shot, six home wrecking projectiles, and six rubber balls. So let's have a look. This is the front part of the bag. Obviously, some projectiles did go in, but nothing seems to have come out from the back. So the flower ended up stopping the bullets. All right, well, we don't know which did what, but if this was a rubber ball, I do have a funny feeling that a few of these are the steel home wreckers. And for the first time, two projectiles actually went through the cotton t-shirt. Um, in all my experiments, this has never happened. And I believe these were both the home wreckers. On the butter squash or spaghetti squash, we have multiple entry, entry holes and we have only one exit hole. Now, I am convinced that this is from the home wrecker and that the smaller hole is just from the metal part of the home wrecker. I believe that is the entry hole and as a matter of fact, this is where the plastic casing is. So the plastic stopped, I don't know, maybe a few, one, one and a half inches inside the fruit, but the metal part kept going, came out of here. So I gotta say, this is pretty hard, a pretty hard fruit. And the home wreckers, home wreckers went right through it. Next target is hard coconut. All right guys, it is very, very hard to load these things in the clip. So I'm gonna do exactly what they suggested. All right, let's see if they will go in a little easier now. Ah, yeah, yeah, some, somewhat easier. Let's try this one. Sometimes they're actually better to put in from the front and push in, actually. Okay, so I did manage to scrape off some of those sealing lines. They're all still quite hard, and as you can see, they didn't go in entirely well. So I'm gonna have to do that a bit more, but they are, it is better than it was before. I mean, yesterday my fingers were hurting for doing this. Three successful shots at the coconut. Let's see what we have here. Wasting delicious coconut water. But nothing inside, that's weird. All right guys, final experiment, purely for fun. I've always wanted to do this, a slow-mo of a glitter bottle as hopefully it blows up. The cool thing about putting a bag of flour behind what you're shooting is that you can actually retrieve your bullets. 
Well, looks like we are done for the day. I don't know if you guys realize how much work there is behind these videos. Especially when you're a one-man band doing everything by yourself. It's been a hell of a ride. It's been actually one of the most tiring uh, videos that I've ever made. Um, there are a couple things that happen behind the scenes that are not in the video, but I'm going to explain now. So as I was shooting, I went to pull the trigger, and when I pulled the trigger, the air came out. So the pressure came out on the projectile, but it didn't shoot it out. So it was just sitting there, and it sat there for a couple seconds. So what happened is, I, the, the projectile didn't shoot, so I turned the gun slightly to see what's happened, and then it shot. So the, the bullet went completely where it wasn't supposed to. Um, and that happened several times. Another time, two or three times, or sorry, three or four times. Another time I went to shoot, same thing happened. A couple seconds went by, the projectile wouldn't come out. So I, I kind of went to wiggle the clip here and pop, it shot. So it's like the pressure, it stores the pressure until it decides to shoot. And obviously that is very, very, very dangerous. Um, now, do you want to buy a projectile uh, which requires scraping, modifying, scraping off original parts of your gun? I don't know. I did order uh, a similar type of projectile. They look the same at least. Uh, they'll, they'll arrive in a couple days, so I'm going to compare those to see if it's an issue that, you know, it's just an issue with these guys or with the various projectiles. Damage. Uh, on the coconut, we saw some good damage. Uh, they um, they did break, you know, the coconut. While the rubber balls did not. They just bounced off. Um, and they did quite some damage on the on the mannequin. Uh, they were quite slow. I have to rewatch the footage, but I believe in a 260 feet per second. Uh, while the rubber balls were double the, the speed, they were in the 400s. So, it, well, these are also four times the weight. But, uh, but yeah, I hope I kind of covered the whole range. Um, again, guys, this is the first time for me shooting the HDR 50 or TR 50, the 11 joules version. Uh, and it's the first time that I'm shooting these projectiles, so I'm no expert in either. Um, however, at, as, at this moment, in this first test, I do not recommend these at all. I'm very sorry, but uh, I don't know. I, again, I'll be shooting more, doing more tests, and come back in a month or so. We'll talk about it, but right now, I do not suggest these. Please feel free to write in the comments if you have any thoughts. The postman just brought these. They just arrived. And these are going to be the subject of next week's video. 68 caliber. Crazy pointy projectiles. Stay tuned. Which brings me to please like the video if you like the video. Please subscribe to the channel if you like the video. That helps me a lot and it helps you stay posted with all my future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week.